What is special about the trial of the Biddeford witches and the whole witchcraft case here is the survival of the evidence. The women were sent to Exeter to stand trial in 1682 and with them presumably went the statements taken at the time from the witnesses. I believe they were taken by John Hill, the town clerk of Biddeford, who really believed in witchcraft, who really believed that they were guilty and it was he who'd read the book Sadducismus Triumphatus by Joseph Glanville which gave him a sort of code of to, to interpret the witchcraft and what to look for and how to behave so he got these statements and we're, they were printed after the trials to justify what had happened their survival is a wonderful find they don't survive in the public records I think very rare and they, they are referred to elsewhere by contemporaries for example Roger North who attended the trial on behalf of his brother Lord North, who was in the other courtroom, mentioned that the statements were there and, and were used by the jury at the time of the trial. Did the women make statements? The women themselves made no statements at all. They, but interestingly, they were not cross-examined, except in public, in the parish church or in the council chamber, depending on if it was uh, Temperance Lloyd or Susanna Edwards. But their statements, they made statements in court later on, which were incriminating. Basically, they confessed to everything. Uh, there was no attempt at justice or having uh, uh, a lawyer on their behalf. No, it was um, rough justice by every sense.